This is review problem number two for assessment number seven. It says solve the logarithmic equation log x plus log 2x equal 2. Now if we want to solve a logarithm, the first thing we need to do is get the logarithms combined together. We want one logarithm so that we can uh, cancel that logarithm using an exponential. Now you'll notice that we're log, uh, and it doesn't give a base, but that means that implies that this is base 10. So log base 10 of x, log base 10 of 2x equals 2. They have the same base. If two logarithms have the same base and they're being added, we can combine that into one logarithm with a multiplication. So we can say that this is log of x times 2x equals 2. So this is uh, the logarithm addition property. If you have two logs with the same base and you're adding them, you can just simply make one logarithm and multiply the insides. That gives us log of 2x squared equals 2. So then now we have the logarithm uh, isolated on the left side, we can start to cancel the logarithm. And we know the opposite or the inverse of logarithms is exponentials. So if I write this logarithm as a power for some exponential, uh, I can cancel it out. And I want to use the base 10 as the base for my exponent, or for my exponential. So I say 10 to the log of 2x squared and if I do it to the left side, I'm going to do it to the right side, so it's 10 to the second power. 10 to the log base 10, this cancels, leaving you just with 2x squared equals uh, 10 squared, which is 100. If we divide by 2, we get x squared equals, uh, this would be 50. Take the square root of each side, we get x equals plus and minus root 50. Now we have to double check that both uh, plus root 50 and minus root 50 work. Well if I take root 50 and I plug it into x, positive root 50, alright that's going to work out just fine. We're not going to have any problems there. But if I take negative root 50 and plug it in here, I can't take the logarithm of a negative. Uh, so this, this negative root 50 is not going to work so we just get x equals uh, positive root 50. Now, if we want to check the answer, we can. Let's just double check here. Let's do log of negative root 50. Error. So we know that the negative version didn't work. If we do log of root 50, and it says to add it with log of 2 times root 50. We should end up with 2. And we do. So root 50 is our solution. We've checked the answer, verified the negative root 50 doesn't work. And we end up with one solution.